Good morning, everybody. So, open question. The streaming is on me, so you can be honest. Who of you is using, who of you is using the smartphone while driving? Come on. That's, come on, come on, come on. Right, right, good, very good. So, you're not alone. It's a massive issue that we have. The first time in 25 years, the cas uh, death casualties on US highways went up again. And the NHTSA, which is the North American Traffic Association, calls it the Snapchat effect. Right? So there are some numbers that up to 85% of people constantly using while driving a car, the smartphone, or at least very frequently. So, which means that we had over the last year 400,000 traffic incidents, not accidents, but incidents related to smartphone usage in Germany alone. There are numbers that at every daylight minute in the US, 600,000 drivers have the eyes on the smartphone and not on the road. And the risk for an accident is four times higher, so we have an issue. We have a big issue. It's very big, because we all think about, oh, we will do autonomous driving, etc., and we will have this public transport feeling, someone drives, we get drunk and, and play on the phone. It's not exactly the case. If we look on what's out on the road there, in Germany alone there are 47 million cars on average, nine and, a half, uh, nine and a half years old. In the US, 220 million cars, on average, 11 years old. So we have a huge fleet of drivers out there, or cars out there being driven by drivers who are distracted very often while driving 1.5 tons. So this is why we invented Chris. Chris is your digital co-driver. It's actually an easy to install device that you put in your car, which smoothly connects with your phone and then with the car and does exactly what a co-driver would do to you while driving. So if someone was sitting next to you, knowing you very well, holding your phone, let's assume my wife, for example, and an email would come in, she would say, hey, there is an email from you. And I would say, okay, from whom? She would say, from Jan, it's about Echo Summit. I say, okay, what does it mean? It's all sad, and he's happy to welcome you. And I say, could you respond? I'm also very happy to see you there. If there would be another message that would be too long, she actually would say, oh, that's a long message. You read later, later in the office. And if there would be a more important incident coming up, let's say a navigation command, she would stop reading. This is exactly what we're intending uh, with, uh, with Chris and why we built Chris. In order to do that, we're inventing a user paradigm, usage paradigm that actually is on a level as little distractive as possible, which consists of natural language processing, voice, and gesture. So we believe that voice will be the dominant channel in driving a car, but we also believe it will not be enough. All of you who ever tried to work with Alexa knows that it's not possible to maneuver 12,000 skills just with, with, uh, with voice. So at the end, it's an AI-powered AI -powered type of system that tells you what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. Why do we believe so much in voice? Because we expect in the next five years a fundamental breakthrough of voice interfaces in, in human-machine interface that has to do with a technical fact. Machines today understand 95% of what you're telling them, and that's human level. And we do not inventing it, and that's important to understand because you all have this in some of your cars and you have it in Siri, etc. So speech recognition and text-to-speech are known technologies. It's just that we have a leap jump in, uh, in, in quality. But what we are focusing on is the so-called dialogue management or the natural language understanding, meaning building the dialogue that you have with your car while driving. So, so, so uh, creating a real co-driver experience. So, we just ran a very successful Kickstarter campaign, reached the funding goal in just eight hours. There was a big proof that this, this product is being needed. We reached 280,000 euros. And uh, on, uh, on the website, chris.ai, you also can watch a video where you understand very much uh, what we're doing. The team behind is a very experienced team. I myself doing this for about 18 years now, 10 years in automotive. I was happy to uh, be part of two companies that uh, got sold, one to Nokia, today called Here Maps, being sold for three billion to three German car makers, and Alpeo, a company that we sold to Panasonic Automotive. My co-founder, Patrick, was for five years the head of consumer with Here, 
um, and uh, before he was with Vodafone, uh, etc. And Nadaf, our head of AI uh, from, from Israel, but now in Palo Alto, he built two companies in AI, and that is German Auto Labs. Thank you very much.